and welcome to day six of Vlogmas. I cannot believe that I'm already halfway through this. That's crazy. It's also been crazy to film one of these every single day, but I'm committed to going all the way through my 12 days of Vlogmas. If you have not seen the others, by the way, I will put a playlist at the top that you can check out. In the video today, I'm actually gonna give you my six favorite brands of jammies, break down their costs, their pros and cons, and where you can buy them. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Jenny. I am a certified teacher. I teach fourth grade. I'm a doctoral student of education, and I'm also a mom of two fabulous girls, Alice and Mina. And in this video, like I said, I'm gonna cover my six favorite brands of jammies. Okay, now that we've got them all right here, we can go ahead and review the first one. So the first brand that I'm going to talk about right here is Hannah Anderson. Hannah Anderson is considered a luxury brand. It is fairly expensive, but their jammies, one of the major pros of them, I will tell you right away, is they're very thick in weight. So I find that these are excellent for wearing during the cooler months. Even fall and spring, those are kind of fine where I live because of the fact that it's cooler. It has a very solid zipper. It does not go two ways, it just goes one direction, but it's really solid and sturdy. Something else I like about Hannah's is that they are footless, so if you have a particularly tall kid, you'll still be able to use these because of the fact that they are footless. Another reason I really love Hannah's is because they have really, really cute prints. They have a lot of collaborations with a lot of brands. I These are obviously Grogu from Star Wars. I have a lot that are Mickey. I have some that are Miffy. I have some that are Sesame Street and Frozen. And they even have some from Elf that are hilarious. I love Hannah's and even though they're usually about $40, I never ever pay more than $24 for them. There's always some kind of sale. Now the print that you like, you might have to wait a little bit for it to go on sale, but it will go on sale. So typically I wind up spending about $24 a piece on these jammies, which can be expensive. But if you think about it, if it's for two kids and it lasts that long, that's great. Okay, let's move on to my second brand. And this brand is near and dear to my heart. And that is Carter's. So Carter's is super, super popular. I'm sure you've heard of them. If you haven't, that's I'm very surprised. They are a mainstay here in Atlanta and actually their headquarters is here in Atlanta. Carter's is wonderful because their pajamas are very, very affordable. They typically will run you about $9 and that's on the regular. So these are about $9 typically. They have a lot of different prints. Typically they don't have a lot of licensed properties or characters, but their design team is wonderful. I mean, these are just so cute. They have a little mama and baby panda on them, and they typically will have double zippers. Carter's does run, as far as length, I find that they run a little bit short because Mina is a bit long and we wind up kind of hitting the limit before she hits the end of that age gap. So I will say if you get the footy pajamas, maybe size up one. Fun fact about Carter's that I did want to share, and I'll put a picture right here. Mina actually was one of their models which is so cool she was in Target stores and she was on their website as far as pajamas go on this list though these are the most affordable the third brand of jammies and another one that is kind of middle of the road in price but always has some really cute prints is Burt's Bees so this is one of Burt's Bees prints here and I love most of the things Burt's Bees Burt's Bees zippers are only one way typically and they have two different styles they have this slim fit that looks like this and then they also have a looser fit They'll also have separates as your child gets older. Burt's Bees sizing wise, I find tends to run a little bit small too. So this is one that if your child is larger on the scale of their age, you might wanna size up. I usually will buy Burt's Bees for a lot of holidays like Thanksgiving and for St. Patrick's Day because they have a lot of really cute prints and they have them in various sizes so that I can get them to match my girls. Burt's Bees will typically run you around $14.95 if you're buying them brand new. They regularly have sales, and this is also a brand that you can get on Amazon, and you can get it at Target too. Okay, the third brand of jammies that I'm going to talk about is Old Navy. Old Navy's jammies are great because they actually tend to be running a little bit larger in size. They'll usually run you about $10, depending on the style that you get, depending on the age of your kid, but you can expect to spend roughly $10 per pair of, of pajamas from Old Navy. So this is just an example of pajamas I have from them. These are actually glow in the dark and they're really cute. It's a shirt and also a pants set, but they have tons of prints, tons of patterns, and why I say about $10 is because they have sales pretty much all the time, and you can always find some kind of deal for them. I find that Old Navy has a good cross-section of the kind of 
polyester cotton jammies that are a little bit lighter as well as several fleece sleepers for those colder months. Because they're part of Gap 2, sometimes Old Navy will actually have some of those licensed characters on their pajamas. Old Navy is honestly probably my favorite for the fleece pajamas because of the fact that they tend to run larger, therefore unlike Carter's, my daughter Mina doesn't wind up having her feet kind of strangled, if you will. Okay, let's move on to the next one, which is one that, of course, I'm going to pick, and that is Shop Disney. Shop Disney has a ton of pajamas, and this is just one of the many. This is actually a very common style that they use, which is a separate set where you've got your shirt, looks like this, that's the princesses on it, and your little pants look like that. Shop Disney pajamas can be a little bit pricey. Usually I'll get them for around $24, but that's full price. And a lot of the time they will have maybe a 20% off or a buy one jammy, get two, or if you buy two, you'll get them for $16, things like that. So usually you'll wind up maybe spending $16 a piece if you catch them during a sale. Something I like about these Shop Disney jammies is they have many different weights of pajamas. They have these lighter ones, which are the separates, and they also have some really heavy blanket sleepers. If you go out to their website, it's called a blanket sleeper. Those are basically fleece jammies. A con to the Disney pajamas, though, is the sizing is kind of all over the place. For example, their separates tend to run a little bit small, but their fleece sleepers tend to run a little bit large. Obviously, my favorite thing about these Shop Disney pajamas is, of course, that they are all Disney prints. So they just have a lot of variety and a lot of fun prints. So if you are a Disney fan and you're looking for jammies, Shop Disney is a good place to go. Okay, the last pair of jammies that I'm going to show you, and it has a cult following, and really, truly, for a reason it does, is Little Sleepies. So Little Sleepies makes bamboo jammies, and if you've never worn bamboo jammies, they are very, very comfortable. So this was the winter Mickey print. So I love these because not only are they ultra comfortable, they have two different zippers, one at the bottom and one at the top. For the smaller sizes, they have hands where you can actually turn over the cuff and cover your child's hand, and you can do the same thing with the feet. So. Let's say your child wants to stay warm at night, you can cover their feet, but when they wake up in the morning and want to run around, you can uncover their feet. And they're really good for warmer weather. However, I find that they actually retain heat pretty well, even when it's cooler. I don't know if I would choose these when it's really cold, but for most temperatures, these are fantastic. The con of Little Sleepies is, I think, two major things. One, the cost you're going to spend full price $34 for these jammies. Even if you use a coupon, you're still probably gonna spend at least $30 on these jammies, and that's only if you get one of their prints and not one of the licensed prints. The licensed prints are $38. The other con I have for Little Sleepies is that in order to keep them nice and beautiful, you do need to wash them separately and hang them to dry, which can be a pain when you have several kids because that's one extra load of laundry you have to do separately, and then you have to hang them. It can be a pain. However, I will say they have a lot of matching prints for adults, and this is actually the print that we have that we're gonna wear uh, this holiday season all together as a family, and they're really comfortable. I know for sure Little Sleepies has done partnerships with several different brands, including Disney. They had one that is Harry Potter that just released this week. And most of their original prints are also super cute. So you can buy Little Sleepies on their own website. And I think actually they have a few prints that you can purchase on Amazon, and I'll link those down below. So that is all six of my jammy brands and my brief rundown of how much they cost, why I like them, why I don't like them, and what scenarios they are best in. I hope you can figure out which kind would work for you and your family based on your own needs. Tomorrow is actually day seven, which is crazy. Day seven, I'm going to be talking about seven different uses of Play-Doh and how you can integrate different skills into using Play-Doh. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I do all sorts of parenting education related content and if that is your thing, I'd love to have you around. I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time. Take care.